Hi, I'm Jan, co-founder and co-CEO of App Anvil, and see who's here with me. Hi together, I'm Dave, the partner manager at Decadis. And I'm Michaela, the marketing manager at Decadis, and today we'd like to show you how you can create, edit, and reuse entire spaces with Spaces Pro and how to create engaging content with Karma. All right, let's go. All right, so I'm really excited because Michele will now show us the true power of Space Tools Pro. He will not only create a new space on the fly, but he will also copy existing pages in bulk from a template into this space. And Michele, the stage is yours. Thank you, Jan. Yes, and we're going to start with the heart of the app, Space Tools Pro, which is the Space Navigator. It's opened as soon as you open the app, and we're starting with one space, which, for example, now is the project template we want to use. And as Jan said, on the fly, we can just create a new space, which we name New Project Karma. Nice. The space key is already created, so just click Create, and on the fly, there is a new space, which we got here. And then, um, just as Jan said, we want to just bulk copy, for example, or um, existing pages, for example, the quick view, the project team, and the roadmap. So we um, select them. So those are pages in a different space, right? Yes. In, the, in the space project template. Already existing mm -hmm. and which we want to reuse right now. Mm -hmm. So actions, bulk copy. And now we've got the drop down menu that you want to use, for example, the new project Karma. The uh, parent page is the new project, and we want to copy the entire pages. Uh, child pages, labels, attachments, and just by clicking copy, takes a few seconds. So you have a progress bar there, this is nice to see. You already know as soon as we're done. Yes. And it was successful, we opened the space right here, and we got the quick view, quick view project team, and the roadmap. And for example, if we want to use, uh, create a new page or a child page for the roadmap, just click on the plus button and delete the new page. And for example, roadmap 2023, just enter. And we got an error because we have already a page like that. Okay, then let's create space. Let's just make roadmap 20. 24, that should work. And a new page was created instantly. All right. This is fast. This is faster than using the standard tools. Uh, I really like that. That's the heart of the app, yes. All right, now, Mikhail, I wonder, can I also drag and drop pages from one space to another? Because this is something that Confluence is not capable of. Yes, you can do that. Space Tools Pro can um, move entire pages. Uh, over different spaces. So, for example, if we want to move files down in the, our new Project Karma home, it's just in a few seconds uh, the ah, page has been moved. This is cool. And now we have um, a, a roadmap page in the, in the project template space and also the same named uh, page in the other space. What would happen if I um, now drag and drop the roadmap to the other uh, space. Can you maybe show us? Yeah, let's, let's just do it. Um, Space Tools Pro will provide us with a, an error because there's already an existing page with roadmap, so we can't reuse the name. All right, now we want to show you a different example. So let's imagine we have a new employee, we want to onboard this employee, and we have created a beautiful and engaging template, a space template. So, what what I do right now with uh, Space Tools Pro? What, what is the next step? All right, yes. So, as you said, we've got an onboarding template, which we can select here easily, and we've got the uh, onboarding template in our tree structure. And yes, just as you said, we can copy the entire space with one click. For example, we use onboarding... Jenny Smith is her name. Jenny Smith, all right. Oh, Smith, there it is. Oh. J S as a space key, mm -hmm. and yes, we want to copy uh, labels, attachments, entire pages, and, and just also page restrictions. All this, yes, mm -hmm. and just with one click, we've got the loading bar, and 
space has been copied. There it is. Yeah. And now we can just open it. Onboarding Jenny Smith. Open the page. Nice. And now I'm in the space on the exact um, yeah, page that you just selected. Yes. Cool. Next, we will have a look at this beautiful and engaging page. All right, now that we've copied uh, the space, the onboarding space, uh, Jan, could you show us how you use Karma to create this engaging content? Sure. So uh, let me show you this, uh, this page first. So we have an onboarding page for Jenny Smith. And this page is, as you can see here, very engaging and nicely structured. Beautiful. And you, you know, as, as Jenny, you know um, what to do on, on the first uh, day. So you have uh, guidance, you have all the information that you need. So let's start with the header right now. You see uh, the, the start date when Jenny would start, you see a nice big title and the, everything that you see is really personal. And this is something that's really important, uh, I think that, um, you know, content for employees, for onboarding is personal. This makes everyone feel valuable, you know? And um, yeah, as I said, this page is really important for her. And so you see then uh, what, what is also very important. It is important to know what are, uh, who are the main contacts for me? Because I'm new in the, uh, in the organization, I don't know everyone. So you see my main contact, Samantha, who is my onboarding coach. And I can just hover over her, click on her profile and see her details. Um, I see the product owner, I see the IT support because yeah, in times of COVID, everyone needs it. It's important that uh, it works at home. And then you see the next steps. So you see the first day and we can click here on read more. Um, and I will show that to you. And then uh, you see uh, an, a second page for the entire first week where you can see different checklists. Uh, so yeah, we provide the guidance here. And let me quickly click on read more here to show you how a child page can look like. So we have a, a little bit smaller header right now. Uh, Jenny is still visible, but smaller. And then you can see um, an inspiration, how those pages can look like. So you see an overview of her first day she would first of all meet with Samantha, her onboarding coach. She would meet with the team, go for lunch with the team, and then she will get an office tour and so on and so on. So I think you can already imagine how this would work out. And now I want to show you how you can create this beautiful, or those beautiful pages in a few clicks. All right, thank you for the first view. And to be honest, it's one of the best looking pages I've ever seen in Confluence, really nice. But uh, just show us how, how have you done it? Thank you so much. Yeah, I will do. So um, you see this uh, beautiful Karma logo here. And with that, if I click on that, I'm the instantly in the page editor of, or the page builder of Karma. And here you see some news. You can also click them just away. And then now we are in the edit mode of our page. So I can just enter the edit mode of this macro. This is uh, in fact a macro. So I don't have to, you know, go into the edit mode of the page, insert mm. the macro, edit the macro, yeah, publish yeah. the macro, publish the page. I have everything here with one click. And now you see that everything, all the elements that are here are interactable. So it's a what you see is what you get drag and droppable editor, you can edit everything that you see here. And the concept is that you have a sidebar on the left side with different elements and you can just drag and drop those elements. So let's see, let's take this um, um, image right here and I just drag and drop it, for example, at this exact position. And you can drag and drop all those elements where you want and you can, you know, adjust them as you want because everything is editable. For example, I can just resize my images via drag and drop. But if you need, for example, more control, you can also enter pixels and so on. So um, as you can see, it is really intuitive. It's really easy. I can, for example, reorder my entire page. So if you have created several sections and you want to reorder something, you can just drag and drop. I would do so, uh, I would do so here. So now, for example, the second section is on, uh, on first sight, but it doesn't make any sense right now here. And um, so we have so many cool things to, uh, to, to, to use. And if you're new to Karma, and if, for example, if you're, uh, uh, if you're not a designer, we have uh, beautiful sections right here that you can use out of the box. So 
Um, you don't need to be designer. You can just select, for example, a beautiful um, card template right here. For example, this one here. And now you see it is inserted. We have a beautiful section. And of course, now it's up to you to um, edit the content, to edit the titles. But, you know, everything else, the design and the layout is there. So, thank you very much for the great presentation by Jan and Michele. If you have any further questions to the app Space Tools Pro, you can contact me. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions to Karma, then you can contact Jan. All right. You can get both apps on the Atlassian Marketplace and Karma is even for free. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jan and... <laughs> so, thank you very much. Oh, God. <laughs> um, yeah. Ready? Ja. Okay, okay, okay. <lacht> raus hier. So. Ist zu viel, ne? Also, mm. wir wollen ja nicht. In the next. Alright, I wonder now if um, I can also drag and drop the space. Um, I wonder what else can you do right now? Can you also drag and drop, for example, um, pages <lacht> from space to space? I really wonder, I don't know. <lacht> Can you tell me? Yes, we can do that. <laughs> It's just as easy. Jack and Joe.